To build the resilience in the face of climate change and disasters, Pacific Island countries need direct access to international climate finance. We are working with forum countries to reform institutional and public financial management systems and encourage donors to use their country systems. The reforms will also support direct access and make national public finance management systems more responsive to climate change. Uh, in terms of uh, financial planning and budgeting, uh, the government of Tuvalu's intention is to increase the mobilization and access to financial resources for adaptation needs. We have put uh, more weight and uh, emphasis on building our resilience um, to the effects of climate change, um, to claiming uh, lands, having uh, climate-proof housing, and uh, uh, protecting uh, our food crops uh, from sea surges uh, during cyclone season. Uh, we are currently working closely with UNDP under the uh, Regional Governance uh, for Resilience uh, Project on uh, budget uh, tracking. This allow us, allows us to uh, track climate change uh, financing of uh, expenditure line items under the budget uh, and which can provide uh, financial reports on how we allocate our uh, both uh, the, our domestic resources and external financial resources on uh, different measures to address the effects of climate change. In the past, uh, we have worked uh, closely with the Pacific Island uh, Foreign Secretariat and the improvements of our financial procedures and oversight uh, with the formulation of our aid policy, social safeguards uh, policy, uh, which take into account uh, agenda issues, and also with the establishment of the internal audit unit under the Ministry of Finance and the formulation of the fraud policy. Uh, this enabled us, uh, the Ministry of Finance, to be accredited as a national implementing entity to the adaptation fund uh, by meeting uh, its financial uh, uh, standards. We acknowledge the contribution by our development partners, including the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat, the Pacific Regional Infrastructure Facility, UNDP, other development partners, including the ADB and the World Bank. My advice to other forum island countries is to utilize the technical support from our development partners and to use their comparative advantage have, as they have uh, done a lot of research uh, in these areas. The bank is a government-owned development financing institution or a national development bank with over 50 years in existence, serving over 8,000 customers across Fiji and on the 28th of March FDB became an accredited entity by, and we did create history by being the first national entity in Fiji and the Pacific to be accredited as a direct access entity. Yeah? And by 2020, we set another record there by being the first national direct access entity in the Pacific region to have its first USD 5 million project approved by the Green Climate Fund. And this project is to be uh, implemented uh, in Ovalau. Now, FDB's accreditation also provides opportunity to work with international accredited entities. Uh, or AEs, therefore allowing us to capacity build within the bank. It also allows for greater synergies, eh? particularly in sharing resources such as human resources, eh? to bring about the much needed climate finance to Fiji. The FDB's uh, accreditation with the GCF creates a huge potential for to improve engagement of the Pacific's private sector. Eh? And from designing right to implementation of climate resilient projects or programs. Two key gaps that we wish to share in terms of our project on Ovalau relates to the management of associ the associated foreign exchange risk eh? now when on lending and the other one is around availability of the skill set of the right skill set that we need to implement projects. In essence, robust PFM systems are critical for effective access and management of climate finance.